Good afternoon, my name is Rahia Deerdal Young and I work with seed treatments with BASF. I'm here today south of Fromberg in Montana and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about wireworms and some of the innovation that BASF is bringing in our cereal seed treatments. So wireworms are really devastating pests and since the loss of lindane in 2007, growers have not had any options for eliminating these pests from our fields. We've seen wireworm acres grow and we've seen the wireworms on those acres increase. So in spring 2021, BASF is bringing a brand new mode of action that actually kills wireworms in wheat. So Taraxa F4, is in this plot here. Market standard currently is a neonicotinoid insecticide. The problem with neonicotinoids in a wireworm context is that they only briefly repel wireworms. You can see a, a neonicotinoid treated over here and you can see that you did get some stand established. However, those populations still build up and once the wireworms recover from their interaction with the insecticide, they go back to work stealing yield on wheat. What you see behind me is just a base fungicide. So this is very typical wireworm symptomology. You see poor stand establishment. When you have a poor stand, you don't have any competition for your weeds. So bad wireworms means bad weed pressure. Another thing we see is an inconsistent stand and that's gonna hurt us in yield, and also an inconsistent maturity, which is uh, gonna be a problem for us when we're trying to time something like a fusarium head scab application. Once you look over here, when you see the Taraxa treated wheat, you can see that we have a good strong stand establishment. And another thing is we've actually killed the wireworms that are in the soil, which is gonna be very powerful uh, fight that we have in, in our weapon that we have in our fight against wireworms. So look for BASF spring 2021 with the launch of Taraxa F4.